Did you know you can make your own game rules? It's easy. Let me show you how it's done. First, you have to summon an entity to execute your commands. I'm just going to use an armor stand here. It helps to name it whatever you want to call your game rule, and for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to make one called Say Hello. Next, we're going to run four commands to set up our game rule. The first is to create a dummy scoreboard objective, and once again, it helps to have the same name as your game rule. This next command is the most important part of the whole process. We're going to link query result to the objective we just created. I'll explain what that does in a moment. Now, in order to actually get that armor stand on the scoreboard, we have to set its score for Say Hello to 0. Finally, we have to set the default value for our game rule. For Say Hello, let's set it to False by default. Keep in mind that you can use True or False, or any number, such as 3, 4, negative 5, anything you want. Now it's time for the command blocks. We're going to need a fill clock, and if you face in the positive x direction, you can copy these commands exactly. Fill with redstone blocks, fill with any other block, and place a button like this. Now it's time for the second most important part. We're going to be executing game rule say hello at the armor stand continuously. And, because of query result, the result of that command will be placed directly in the scoreboard. This means that if game rule say hello is set to 3, then the scoreboard value will be 3. If it's set to negative 5, it'll be negative 5. And, if you use true and false, true will set it to 1 and false will set it to 0. Because of this, we can use those scoreboard values and create our own commands to be executed with the game rules. Now. All the commands you want to execute should follow this form. It executes these commands at every armor stand with a specific score in Say Hello, but because there's only one armor stand in Say Hello, it only executes if the score matches. For this example, I will be looking for a minimum score of 1, which means a minimum score of True, and if it is a minimum score of True, then I will be executing Say Hello at the armor stand. You'll see when I press this button that nothing happens, but that is because we set say hello to false. Let me just set it to true, and now it will say hello every time we press this button. If I set it back to false, it will once again do nothing. You can also execute it continuously by adding it to the fill clock, which is what most people would want to do for a game rule. Now, when I'm anywhere in the world, I can toggle whether that armor stand says hello by changing the game rule to true or false. And that's all there is to it. Who know an obscure command like slash stats could be hiding such a useful feature? I do want to give credit to Dragnaws, as if he needs my recognition, for his video on query result when it first came out. The link to that video, as well as all the commands I used, will be in the description, so check that out. But yeah. Let me know what you think, and especially if you can think of any cool uses for it. But that's all for now, so thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.